is Tom and Karen. Welcome to our Life 4.0. We've hit a bit of a milestone. We've made it to Norway. And all I can say is, what a difference a day makes. Today, the seas were quite calm, and the day is sunny and bright. Yesterday, yeah, well, not so nice, as we sailed the 70 nautical miles from Ellos, Sweden, to Lingor, Norway. But the winds were from a great direction, from the north-northeast, so it made sense to take advantage of them, even though it meant spending the rainy day underway. How are we doing? Don at the helm. We're going like nine knots. We got about 25 knots of wind. Healed over quite a bit. We had two, three reefs in the main, two reefs in the jib, and we're still going nine knots. And poor Shelly. We just arrived in Norway a couple hours ago. This is near Lingor, another adjacent little village next to Lingor. Lingor is kind of the main place here, which we hope to go explore tomorrow. And this is really beautiful. It's been raining all day today, and we've had a, a long, tough passage over from Sweden, very wet and windy and rolly and um, rained the whole way over. So it feels good to get here, kind of check things out. In the morning, we dingied over to the town of Linger to take in the beautiful architecture. This building here is the historic location of a sailmaker, which is, today, the site of a popular cafe, among other things. This was a great island for a much needed walk. The trail wound up and down and all along the craggy coast. For a first stop in Norway, this is quite special. We have been researching and thinking about Norway so much over the past six months, and we are thrilled to finally be kicking off our exploration of this country, widely known for its natural wonders. This is where we came in yesterday when we crossed over from, oh goodness, where were we? Ellos. When we crossed over from Ellos, Sweden, into this opening here. It's quite rough. We had pretty heavy following seas behind us. And uh, yeah, it's pretty crazy. And they called this an anchorage down and through here. So that's interesting. We're gonna have to figure out how narrow we are comfortable going. Uh, do you speak English? English? One print per picture. Oh! <laughs> oh! Thank you. I know, I 
think he said come here. Wow, look at that. Okay, maybe just... Yes, yes, that's us. Yeah. 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 That's so neat. They have this little boat parade. So supposedly at noon, there's a whole bunch of traditional Norwegian boats that are going to be out going for picnics. And so we're going to try to figure out where that is. Oh wow, you can see them all down there. All right, this is the wooden boat parade. It left Lingor a little while ago while we were leaving. And now we run into them again. A whole bunch of them all the way along here. Put putting their way along. It seemed like they were gonna go for a short trip, but they kept uh, on a parallel course to us. And now they're now they're crossing our path. Bunch of happy waving Norwegians. And they're beautifully varnished and cared for boats. And I love how they've decorated their boats with like branches and lots of flags. And they're off for their picnic. Look at all the Norwegian flags. Since crossing two days ago from Sweden to Norway was quite rough and therefore tough on our guest Shelley, we decided to stay tucked inside the outer protective collection of islands. Our destination was this welcoming island of Furoya. Hiking trails crisscross the island and lots of bird life abounds to sing to us as we walk the perimeter. Still on the island of Feroia, and we're on a dock that's on the other side of it. And this, this island just has a whole bunch of places to tuck in. And here's the resident goats. Goats, goats, goats. So, yeah, somebody's getting ready to come in here. One of those old uh, flat bottom boats across the way. I don't know if it's a flat bottom boat. No, it actually looks like a keel boat. Yeah, it's pretty. All right, we're leaving our anchorage at Feroia. Uh, and this is the neighboring island here called Hestoya. Did a nice hike around there yesterday. And we're going to this little narrow spot here with a cable crossing. They don't want you to anchor. They have a lot of these um, navigation lights here that are solar based. They're kind of interesting and unique shaped, kind of tapering out there at the, or flaring out at the bottom. And we head out. We 
we're headed to Arendal today, about 12 miles. Probably mostly motoring as we go through these inside passage area on this part of Norway. A lot of boats were out here that yesterday. Oh, we've got a waiver. And um, it's kind of a, it's been a rainy morning today, so not many boats out at all, but there was lots of small, small boat traffic, a lot of skiffs and runabouts going zooming through here yesterday on a warm summer day. So we arrived in Arendal, bigger city than most along the part of the coast of Norway. And this drizzle that we're getting now, Oh, they have actually freshwater floating pool over there. Um, this drizzle seems to be very, very common here in Norway. Kind of, not a heavy rain, but kind of a drizzle, and then it'll clear. Drizzle a little bit more. Not too bad. Usually it's over pretty quickly. High above Arendelle. We have a quick stop here to connect our friends to public transportation so they can continue on their travels. from Arendal, just dropped our friends Don and Shelly off for their return back to the U.S. And uh, we're making our way down, trying to get underneath or at least the bottom part of Norway um, while we have some uh, temperate uh, weather and mild wind conditions. And then we can make our way up the west coast of Norway, which is where a lot of the sites are and all the fjords. So. We're headed out of here, out of some kind of barrier islands and uh, small islets and rocky places. As you can see here, a nice lighthouse. Fairly densely populated because this is close to Oslo. A couple hours by car from Oslo. Oslo is sort of like the equivalent of Stockholm here, where it's like the <laughs> most people you meet. A lot of the boaters we met are from Oslo. Oh, and there's a big, huge jellyfish. Going through this narrow passage, and it's, it's very shallow here as well. There's these little anchorages off the little channel. This is a great little homestead. Lots of rocks through here. We're in an anchorage not too far from the city of Mandal on the southern coast, almost near the southern tip of uh, Norway. So we're rounding the bottom of Norway and it's just a beautiful night. Uh, there's a little village over here. There's half of a moon sitting up on top of this hill. It's about 10 o'clock. The sun has set, but the sky is still very much dusk. Tom's working on a project with the Bimini. And this is our little anchorage. This is the southernmost point of land on Norway. Uh, the southernmost city is, is back a bit, but this is the point of land that, that stretches the farthest south. So we're just rounding it, and then we start heading slightly north, northwest. So pretty exciting. Looks like there's lots of buildings up there for navigation and paying attention to their southern coast. 
got a lot more um, mountains and cliffs. And there was a little waterfall over here. We came through a narrow entrance. Well, it doesn't look so narrow here, but it was narrow. <laughs> through those rocks. Um, and the water's a lot more stable and flat here. It was really kind of confused and a bunch of wave directions from all different places. So feels a little better to be in this protection. And beautiful scenery here. And we're coming up to a fjord. It's completely different than what we saw this morning. We were motoring out around these summer cottages on these little islets and wooded spaces. Now we got gigantic cliffs and a couple of islands off the shore here, but it's just so different now. You can kind of see how this landscape would turn into huge fjords as we go up north from here. So a lot of the anchorages here, the challenge is that they're just too deep. Uh, and then with the deepness, although we have a lot of anchor line, we'd swing a huge amount and there's just not enough room to swing in these harbors. So that's a new factor we're having to face here. This last stop for the episode is the quaint and very remote town and harbor of Sagendolstrand, about a day's sail from Stavanger. We're in a very small marina just on the other side of that breakwater over there. There's maybe four guest berths. So we grabbed one of them, which was terrific. Otherwise, I don't think we could have come in here because we um, there is a place to die alongside here somewhere. <laughs> I don't know where. Uh, but then the place to anchor had uh, a big raft in the center of it, so that wasn't going to work. After a stroll through the village, we enjoy the first of many hikes in the Norwegian hills. Somehow, I know we will not tire of the incredible views. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and smash the thumbs up if you enjoy our content. Join us next time as we arrive in Stavanger and prepare for our first visit to a fjord. Until then, fair winds. Mm -hmm.